एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम बैक टू एस चांद अकेडमी इन पार्ट वन वी डेड लिमिट ऑफ अ फंक्शन ऑफ अ टू वेरेबल नाउ विल डिस्कस कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ अ फंक्शन ऑफ अ टू वेरेबल so i am dr seema thakran welcome to s chand academy if you want to study limit and continuity of function of two variables in detail please refer to the book by s chand the uh, publishing the e book link is given in the description box below so continuity of uh, function of one variable i have already discussed in part 1 so in pa uh, now continuity of a function of a two variable function so a function fx y is said to be continuous at the point a b first i am giving you the definition at one particular point and then we can generalize it for all points if limit xy tending to ab fxy is f of ab if this is so it means the limit uh, this is ab it means uh, the the limit uh, concept which we did in part 1 if that limit is completely equal to f of ab then we say that the function is continuous at that particular ab point if it holds for all points of the domain if it holds or true for all points of the domain then we say then we say that the function is continuous at all points or the function is continuous in the domain so let's understand i am taking one two examples i'll be taking one continuous and one non continuous or discontinuous so my first question is So for non-zero values, the function is x cube uh, minus y cube upon x square plus y square, and for zero uh, at the origin, it is zero. So, and for continuity, please, uh, that is also important. Uh, that is star point. I'll say the function should be well defined at a b. It means. Uh, Uh, the point on which you want to check the continuity at that point the function should be well defined if it is not then there is no point of checking the continuity so in this question we we will be checking check continuity at 0 0 continuity at 0 0 so clearly you can see at 0 0 the function is or a zero so it means the function is uh, well defined so function is this is the very first step to uh, check before proceeding to uh, 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 to for continuity so if a function is well defined at 0 0 the value is 0 even you can see the way it is defined now i'll check the limit we'll check limit extending to 0 y tending to 0 fx y as i told you in the part 1 कैसे चेक हाउ टू चेक वी विल बी चेकिंग फर्स्ट एंड दिस लिमिट आल्सो सो माय फंक्शन इज व्हेन फर्स्ट यू विल टू पुट एक्स जीरो देन वाई जीरो सो व्हेन यू विल डू दिस लिमिट एक्स क्यू माइनस वाई क्यू एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर 
first x is 0, so it means it will be 0 uh, minus y cube plus y square. So I left with minus y only because this is 0, this is 0 minus y cube upon y square will be just minus y and limit y tending to 0 will give me 0 only. Then y0, first I'll uh, put y0 and I'll keep x as it is. So y0 when I'll put this will give me just x because x cube upon x square is just x and x tending to 0 will give me 0. Now this is not sufficient. I will be putting because this is origin. So now let y is mx. y is mx and then if it is again 0, I will be going to uh, moving to mx square. I keep checking because for each and every path, the limit should be same if it is existing, if it is continuous. So substitute y is equal to mx and check the limit again. So x cube minus y cube will become m cube x cube x square plus m square x square. Take out x cube from the numerator and x square from the denominator. So I am left with x into some m function and because my x is tending to 0, it means it will always uh, giving me 0 and if I will now, this is just power 1, if I substitute mx square again it will be just the same. It means in this case there is no need to check now mx square because if mx giving 1x out outside mx square will give x square outside then mx cube keep going you will get 1x extra and because x is tending to 0 it will give you 0. So this is very clear case that the function is continuous at 0 0 very clear case. So as the limit xy Tending to 0, 0 is f of 0, 0. f of 0, 0 is already 0. Now, this is continuous uh, question, uh, uh, example. Now, I will take one example which is, let us see what type of situation it will be just. So, f x y and the question is this. And this is for non-zero values. And for 0, for origin, it is 0. Now the same, check continuity at origin. Origin means 0, 0. The same way we will be checking. The uh, checking method is same, but it uh, the thing is that it should be the limit. If it is same, you will say continuity. If it is not, then the, there is no continuity in the at that particular point. So, limit x tending to 0, y tending to 0, x upon under the root this. In this case, the thing is that uh, like uh, whether you, do, you are taking y0, x0, generally what students do, I will start this time with this uh, path. This path is I hope you know that this is a line and these all, all these lines are passing through a region. It's not that I'm taking any, any general path. I'm taking the paths, the lines which are passing through a region. So these lines, all lines are passing through a region. So this path is basically all these lines, all are passing through a region. I can't choose any random path. I have to take the path which is passing through a region to check the continuity. Now, if I am substituting y is equal to mx, what I am getting? So, I am getting mx, sorry, x upon under the root x square plus m square x square. So, take out x square common and because of the under root, only x will come out. In this case, the problem is that x is removing, when I am taking y is equal to mx, my x is just ca getting cancelled and only m I am getting. And the problem is, for different m, this value will be different. If it is so, then it means that the limit is not existing. For different m, this we don't want. And in the earlier case, 1x we were getting in each and every case. So, and x was tending to 0. So, all limits were approaching to 0. But in this case, there is no x uh, uh, in this uh, case. It means that for different m, the value will be different 
and there is no continuity. Therefore, the given function is not continuous at origin. So, in part 1 we understood or we uh, learned how we find limit and the same concept connecting to continuity and two examples we took and one example was continuous and another was not continuous. Method, methodology we ha I have explained you how we proceed y is equal to mx, y is simultaneous limits we first we check then y equal to mx then y is equal to mx square keep going. If we are getting x uh, separately it means the limit will exist. If if we are getting uh, if x is cancelling and uh, there is no x coming in the limit then it means the limit will be totally different because it will depend again then on m values. So in limits uh, when we were checking limits first thing is that simultaneous limit uh, we, for, we check if uh, it is x y tending to some point then first x will we will approach x then y we will keep as it is then uh, y we uh, 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 then uh, in the final uh, expression we will put the y value then the same we reverse and if we are checking the continuity part what extra we have that we have to check the simultaneous limit answer should be equal to the value of the function at that particular point if it is so then uh, the function will be continuous and continuous means that there is no break in the function at that particular point and if the function is continuous at all points of the domain then it means the function has no breaks in that particular domain. So, if you want to study limit and continuity of function of two variable in detail, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected and keep watching the upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.